This is not financial advice, not legal advice, for entertainment educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. Listen, everyone who's been t paying attention knows that Warren Buffett, Berkshire Hathaway, has been dumping Bank of America shares, dumping them in the billions over the past couple of weeks. But somehow, the price of Bank of America does not go down. I mean, with AMC, you sell a little bit and the price crashes. <laughs> you buy a lot and the price doesn't go up. Somehow, with Bank of America, Berkshire Hathaway dumped billions, billions in Bank of America shares, yet the stock runs sideways. The price of stocks in the United States stock market has nothing to do with supply and demand, has nothing to do with fundamentals. It has to do with fraud and corruption. But here's what I found out over the weekend. One, a gentleman named Juan put it on my radar. Bank of America has $307 billion in shares sold with repurchase agreements, which is... Shares sold, not yet purchased, okay? They're selling counterfeit shares, $307 billion worth. What does that tell you? That tells me that they are deeply in debt. And when it's time to buy back those shares, if they're trading at, the, trading at a higher price, they're going to be in trouble. And the other thing is, once they sell these shares, Sold, not yet purchased. Everybody takes their cut of those profits. It's not, well, technically it's not really profits because you didn't pay anything for them. Okay? You sold it, you put the money on your books, and everybody got a piece. And eventually, you're going to have to buy those shares back. But these guys been kicking the can down the road on these counterfeit shares for years and every year it keeps going up it keeps going up it keeps going up and i guess warren buffett and berkshire hathaway has decided that bank of america will not be able to kick this 307 billion dollar shares sold not yet purchased down the road too much longer so they got out the play now am i a hundred percent sure that Warren Buffett and Berkshire Hathaway started dumping their Bank of America shares because of this $307 billion in shares sold, not yet purchased? No, I do not. But do I think that's the reason? Yes, I do. If I'm a betting man, I am betting that this $307 billion in shares sold, not yet purchased on Bank of America books was a contributing factor to Warren Buffett dumping his Bank of America shares. Here's the thing. The economy crashes and they can't cover these shares so not yet purchased. What is going to happen to Bank of America? Well, being that we've realized that the share price won't be affected at, at all, even if the, the company is in bankruptcy because they control the price of the stock, According to Ken Griffin of Citadel, active managers determine the price of a stock. So even though Bank of America has $307 billion, $307 billion in shares sold not yet purchased, which means that they sold $307 billion of something that they never owned. Okay? $307 billion of something they never owned. That has to be scary. Any other industry, this business model would tank it. But somehow, this is how the bad actors are profitable and successful in the United States stock market because they were able to keep kicking the can down the road. And I think that Berkshire Hathaway and Warren Buffett don't think they can kick the can down the road any further. And that's why he dumped 
his Bank of America shares. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that $307 billion in shares sold, not yet purchased, is a contributing factor to Warren Buffett dumping his Bank of America shares? Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.